Most meteorites land in deserts or fields or even the ocean, but the Park Forest meteorite made impact in the middle of the neighborhood in Chicago, and it's considered by many to be one of the most urban meteorite falls we've ever had. Let's take a closer look at it. In March of 2003, a fireball exploded over suburban Chicago, shaking windows with sonic booms. By morning, residents of Park Forest, Illinois, discovered fragments scattered everywhere, yards, streets, rooftops, and even some that broke through into houses. The most famous fragment is called the Garza Stone because it crashed through the roof of the Garza family's home while they were sleeping. It landed in their bedroom and narrowly missed them, spreading debris everywhere. They actually thought their house had been struck by lightning or maybe even bombed. Fortunately, it was just a visitor from space. The Garza Stone earned the rare title of a hammer stone, which is what we call a meteorite that strikes a man-made object. In all, about 18 kilograms of this meteorite was recovered across Park Forest. Funny enough, some local residents brought fragments of the stones they found to the Park Forest Police Department, thinking that they were dangerous or some sort of evidence of an explosion. For several days, the police department had a growing pile of meteorites in their storage until eventually scientists could come home and collect them or they were returned to whoever dropped them off. So what do we know about the makeup of the Park Forest meteorite? Analysis tells us that it's an L5 chondrite, a stony meteorite formed over 4.5 billion years ago in the early solar system and probably from the asteroid belt. It's not super scientifically unique as far as types of meteorites go, but it was amazingly fresh since the fall was observed and it was recovered quickly. Scientists classify it as shock stage S5, meaning it endured massive collisions out in space before it ever reached Earth, and it's fairly pristine and it shows us almost no weathering. But of course, there is evidence of the impact and fractures that are found across various pieces. Now, I only have a very tiny subgram fragment of this meteorite in my collection, but it's definitely one of those whose fall story and where it landed makes it a lot more interesting than just the stone itself would be. Want to see more space rocks and hear stories about them like this? Make sure to like the channel, share it with a friend. Don't have any friends? Probably need to share more space rocks with people.